Movie Park Germany is a studio-themed amusement park in Germany. The park has had a turbulent ownership history, but it has had stability over the past decade since being acquired by Park Ace Reunidos. This park excels in creating themed experiences, including multiple coasters, some really cool water rides, and some interesting dark rides. So in this video, I will rank the top 15 rides and attractions at Movie Park Germany. Before starting the countdown, I want to note two attractions that will not be on this list. First, MP Express, like many of the Vacoma SLCs in these European countdowns, will not be included. This ride is downright painful and an experience I cannot recommend. Second, the Lost Temple Dark Ride has been closed in both my visits. I've heard this 4D simulator isn't anything too special, but I would have liked to try it had it been open. Starting off the list at number 15 is Jimmy Neutron's Atomic Flyer. This Vacoma suspended coaster features a basic layout, but it features just lap bars and smooth tracking, so it's an enjoyable little ride. Don't expect much force here, minus on one of the turns, but that's perfectly fine for a junior coaster. If you've ridden Frontier City Steel Lasso, this is the same ride. Number 14, Bandit. This RCCA wood coaster has a reputation as one of the worst coasters in the world. However, I don't think it's nearly that bad. Yes, it's bumpy, but it's not brutal. My biggest issue with this coaster is the lack of speed it navigates the layout. This is a Coney Island Cyclone clone, but this ride has barely any laterals and only some weak floater airtime. Meanwhile, the original is nearly 100 years old offers some of the most violent laterals of any ride, plus some awesome airtime. Number 13, Fairy World Spin. These mock teacups can offer a dizzying ride if you work hard enough to spin them quickly, which I of course will always do. Number 12, Sidekick. This Huss Frisbee doesn't go particularly high, so it doesn't offer the airtime of most other pendulum rides. However, this one spins pretty darn quickly, so you get some forceful spinning throughout the attraction. Think of this more of as a spinning ride than a pendulum ride. Number 11, Crazy Surfer. This San Perla Disco Coaster has a nice location along the water in the back of the Santa Monica Pier section. The spikes have some faint weightlessness, but the highlight is the pull over the speed hill in the center of the layout. It really does add some variety to these discos. Number 10, Ghost Chasers. This mock wild mouse is boxed in with some colorful SpongeBob theming. The first half has minimal braking and some good laterals. The second half has some braking, but you still get some faint airtime on a few of the drops. Number 9, New York City Transformer. This Huss topspin has a decent cycle. You get some hang time when the gondola is locked for the initial rotation, then the gondola releases to give you 2 to 3 rapid and forceful flips. This ride doesn't have much in terms of theming, but it offers some nice thrills to contrast with the park's themed offerings. Number 8, Dora's Big River Adventure. This LNT Systems log flume takes place around a colorful rock mountain. There isn't too much other theming, but the rock work goes a long way. The drops in this one aren't too thrilling, but you will get comically drenched. The first drop goes through a tunnel that reflects the splash right back at the riders. Then the second drop is similarly soaking. Number 7, Time Riders. This ride starts off with two great pre-shows. They're understandably entirely in German, but I think I know what was going on. I really liked the second one with the large time machine lights and smoke. It was really theatric. The experience culminates in a motion simulator. The image quality is solid, but the motion is pretty jerky. Number 6, Movie Park Studio Tour. This indoor roller coaster from Intamin feels more like a dark ride. You pass a variety of theme sets with some sweet effects. In fact, I wish you moved through some of these scenes slower so you had more time to appreciate all the details. There's a lot to see in here. My favorite show scene was this section simulating a twister with screens and wind. Then there's a cool launch later in the ride where you race alongside a full-size car. Now the coaster section is pretty tame. You don't really get any forces on the launches, drops, or helixes. This ride is all about the visuals, and that theming is some of the best of any coaster. Number 5. Excalibur. This Intamin River Rapids ride is a really poor water ride. The rapids are super weak and barely send more than a trickle into the boat. However, this is a great dark ride. You pass these big ornate set pieces. 
The detail on the rock statues is breathtaking. If this ride paired those visuals with better water elements, this could potentially be a top 3 ride at this park. Number 4. High Fall This Intamin drop tower is notable for its seating position. Well, more like standing position. This is a stand-up floorless drop tower. This position leaves you extremely exposed, and it's downright terrifying being lifted 20 stories into the air supported by just a nub in between your legs. The views of the park are great, especially because you rotate on the ascent, but the drop is what makes the experience. It occurs with no warning, and it offers a great stomach drop and rush. The landing is smoother than you may expect given the standing position, but one negative about this one is that the tilt function no longer works. I have a review on a similar ride at Six Flags Over Georgia in Acrophobia, and the tilt function makes it one of the world's best drop towers, so hopefully that function can return one day to movie parks. Number 3. Area 51 This Intamin water ride is a combination flume and dark ride. The latter is where the attraction really excels, as you pass these big sets with aliens, and then at one point you pass this huge cavern that's being flooded. Then the ride also has two drops for variety. Both are super shallow, they feel more like ramps. The outdoor one isn't anything special, but the indoor one messes with your mind because it's in total darkness and you cannot see the bottom as you keep on dropping further. Number 2. Van Helsing's Factory This Gerslauer bobsled is one of the world's best wild mouse coasters. Completely enclosed, this ride has some nice monster theming throughout the main layout. The second lift in particular stands out as a variety of beasts lunge towards you. Then the elements are deceptively good too. What this ride lacks in height is compensated by tenacity. You have some very intense laterals at points, particularly in the wild section before the second lift. Then a few hills will lift you out of your seat, and some of the helixes apply some positive forces as well. This is an all around package attraction. And coming in number one is Star Trek Operation Enterprise. This mock multi launch coaster is the complete deal. It starts with the theming. You have all sorts of props and homages to the old Star Trek Next Generation TV series including a replica of the USS Enterprise Bridge. Then the main layout is pretty diverse. The launches aren't too powerful, but everything else is great. Make sure to ride this attraction in the back. I love the twisted spike that blends incredible weightlessness with disorienting visuals. The top hat has some really good ejector airtime on the drop. The three inversions have fantastic hang time. And then there are some smaller hills that pop you out of your seat as well. I have an entire review in this ride, but this was the thrill coaster that movie park sorely needed. So those are the top 15 rides and attractions at movie park Germany. What are your favorite rides at this theme park? Is Star Trek your favorite as well? If you enjoyed this countdown, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you considered subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.